Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 2 of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup jersey review. We are looking today at groups C and D. And as before, I am taking all the pictures I'm going to show you. I went through the internet, tried to find as reliable information. Of course, it's always Football Kit Archive where you start out and then branch out. And most of the pictures that I find, unfortunately, not the nice stock pictures that you see in stores. There are some of them that have models or the players on. So, you know, it's a little bit wilder. Each jersey is rated on a scale from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best. And I'm going group by group, kind of. And within the group, oh, I think it's alphabetically that I ordered the jerseys. And I would say after this little prelude, we go straight into it. We'll start with the team that I'm wearing and the jersey that I'm wearing, which is Spain. Adidas has the women's team reused the men's versions uh, for the home jerseys and they all got special away jerseys. So we don't need to talk a whole lot about it. I have made already this in the World Cup review. This is an eight star jersey. Jersey that I obviously like because I have it in my collection. This is also the first time we see now these special jerseys that Adidas have created. And for Spain at first, it seems a little bit of why these colors. But if you then see the promo pic that it's, you know, underwater in the sea with the corals, it actually makes sense. And yes, all these pictures are a whole lot of more touched up than they saw. I think they actually uh, power published some videos uh, of how they created this. I still think especially for women's team this is a really 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 nice feature it's very uh, floral pattern it's also very nature like the colors might not um, say Spain immediately uh, especially the blue I think maybe a red and purple could be but you know, then there's a pink in there it's one of those great Adidas jerseys that we have at this World Cup even on the on the back yes there are again the patches that I, that I hate the underarm patches However, here because the sleeve is so wild I don't mind it all that much. We're starting out with another strong jersey here. I would give this an 8 star. I actually really like it. The only thing that prevents me from giving it a higher grade are that, you know, the colors are not quite there. Well, we also get Adidas with Costa Rica. And as far as I know, the Costa Rican women are using the same as the men jerseys who just switched to uh, Adidas. Boring. It's an absolute horrible template and the uh, underarm patches. Who doesn't? I don't even, I mean, colors are nice, but I don't even like it all that, that, that much more. It's honestly, it's a four star. Uh, there's not much more that I, that I can say. And I, I even dislike the away jersey more because this has nothing to do with Costa Rica. This is just white with a little black, a little bit gold, a pinstripe. I guess the pinstriping might be a nice idea that saves it. But as a Costa Rica jersey, I wouldn't recognize it as a Costa Rica jersey. That's why I give this three stars. Let's go for something much, much, much more wild, which is, of course, uh, Zambia. Uh, the company is also one of the very unknown ones in Copa, uh, which I think is really interesting. Uh, a home jersey, I have to say, given that Zambian flag is so much green, just using yellow and black seems a little bit boring to me, but I like the overall design. It's rather uh, simple. It's not a bad jer jersey, but I wouldn't give it a super high grade so we'll stick we'll stick with the five stars here i uh, love the away jersey yeah this is zambia this is Zambia. this is all i want to see from some some jersey. you have the bright green and then the other flags the uh, the african colored uh, flags in there though it looks a little bit like germany if you uh, upside downs at, at times but love that one this this is a great shirt um i'm also gonna give this an eight simple yet effective and then the away jersey, yeah, it doesn't do anything uh, bad. I mean, it's white, a uh, third jersey, which is just, uh, white with a little bit green also makes sense. It's, may, it's you know, run of the mill stuff. Uh, but I don't find it as boring as others because there's a little bit of a classic look. Look, they're also going to give this a five star. Uh, and then we have to go to Japan. And Japan you, reuses the men's home jersey, except they have pink on the inside. That's the only difference. Again, uh, many, many love this jersey. For me, it's just a little bit too wild, especially if you look at it close up. Uh, it doesn't look as blue as I would like a Japan jersey to look like. This is my only gripe with that one, although I like the idea with the origami in there. I gave it in the World Cup jersey review a six star. And note that Spain are playing in a group with Costa Rica and Japan, as they did for the Men's World Cup. Only Zambia replaces Germany. That's, that's also a very weird coincidence. So, you know, you see those jerseys 
six stars. Don't want to say much more about that one, but we have to talk about the absolutely stunning uh, away jersey. And again, it is mostly stunning because it's a women's jersey. I think for a man's jersey, I would pan this left and right. But especially if you look at the promo picture where, you know, you have the sunset over Mount Fuji and this is where the colors come from. I mean, the pro pic 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 picture definitely flatters the jersey a whole lot, lot more than otherwise, but I absolutely love uh, the idea behind it. Uh, and I think it fits very well for a women's jersey, like they did for the men, where they uh, created a really nice shirt that I have here. For the women, they also did a really, really cool design. Um, it's not as, I don't like it as much as the Spain away and other away jerseys that, that we'll see, but I think it is really, really cool. Also note the pink accents on the Span uh, on the Japanese crest. It's seven. I like this better than the home jersey. Yes, I do. I do. Um, and then we are done with uh, Group C and we are going to Group D with one of the favorites being England. And like for the last Euros, as a review up there, <sighs> underwhelming, I have to say. This is just a template. This is just a template. Uh, yes, I do like the colors chosen, but it's not a template that I like. As I said, the shards are not to my liking. The crest, cool full color but other than that it's worn with blue shorts which i think i like and there's a good reason for, uh, that they do so so yeah i'm underwhelmed i'm really really un uh, uh, underwhelmed i'm only gonna give this a four star because you know it's kind of decent but not really and then the away jersey in the light blue yes this is probably because of the 90s uh 1993 jersey uh, that this wants to go back to Honestly, honestly, yes, there we see a little bit more than on the home jersey, but um, the whelm factor is again very, very, very low. I actually, you know, why not red? I think for me, England red, yes, I, can, I get it. Sometimes blue is used, and yeah, but it's not for me. It's not for me. I'm gonna give this even a three star. Uh, I was really disappointed by the England jerseys again. And I don't understand why. Let's go into another wild one with Saita and Haiti. Uh, or Haiti. I say Haiti. Uh, I, I, I remember having big discussions in America about that. Honestly, Haiti is the French pronunciation. I since they speak French, there. I think I, I feel right saying it this way. Uh, say there's a small co company. Small companies tend to do what? They want to stand out, so they tend to over design. But it doesn't look so cheap except for the color potentially that is a little bit odd i like the pattern all over i think the form stripe here and the sleeves cuffs and the collar it's l these little accents that i think go a little bit over i think if this would be a little bit more plain you know just make a red sleeve cuff here or make it navy sleeve sleeve cuff let the stripe uh, go away the, the the fade you would get a much better jer uh, jersey, but at least a small comp company gives a little bit more than what Nike gave us, for instance, for England. And so for that reason, and I like the colors, I go with six stars here. Um, the away jersey, same design. I actually like the split a little bit more in the red and the blue up there, although it does look odd, but I actually do li like it. You know, there's a little French flavor to it as well. Um, I actually can get, get get around to it again. This form strap is not so good, so that's why I think I'll stay with the six here uh, and not go too wild. And then they have the same thing in red and third jersey. That actually might be the best of them because you know this is simple. The form strap we don't see as much on on the shoulder. This is uh, rather simple. I like this better. Again, the collar takes it down for for me. But this is the best of of of, of the bunch. Saita, seven stars. I think that's not too bad overall. Homo also have only one team and that team is Denmark and while for the men Homo is currently regurgitating the famous 86 and 92 shirts for whatever reason for the women they did something special it looks a little bit more like a comic strip and like a mesh up jersey uh, it's at least a fresh idea from uh, <laughs> from the Danes <sighs> it's Marmite I don't think it's an attractive shirt per se. However, at least there is something, but uh, it, it looks so much like uh, a comic strip over. 
To be honest, I wanna like it, but I think I would do everyone a disservice if a gig got out. I think this is, I, I'm gonna stick with five stars. It's not that great overall. Um, the away jersey suffers from a similar effect. However, it looks a teeny bit better because uh, there's not as much going on and you know, it gets a little bit lost in the white steel. When I look at this uh, star here on the one sleeve, come on, come on. Let's go with the five. Yes, you're trying something similar, uh, uh, not similar, something different. That is to be commended, but other than that, not so much to my liking. And then we have China. I still need a China jer uh, jersey. And you know, I, there's something about this home jersey. Yes, it's simple. Chinese jerseys, as of late, are rather, rather simple. Why don't you use the dragon design a little bit more? Why don't you use the Great Wall of China a little bit more in your designs? Yes, but at least you have a cloudy effect in there, which makes it appealing. I actually think that the yellow pops really nicely on the red background. There is the, uh, I think they have the, uh, for the women, they have a bird um, in there. So I think that all makes sense. I think as far as Nike template shorts go, this is actually uh, about as good as it gets. I want to give this a seven star only to drop it down to a, rather low grade for the away jersey again shardy template and nothing special in there the reverse crest also looks a little a little bit odd i'm giving out a lot of force in this jersey review and this is another one of those uh not exciting to me please let me know what you thought about the jersey in which ones did you like which ones did you dislike also do you agree largely with my ratings or am i completely off drop a comment below in other way, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!